Found another crash star. I wonder what level this is, because there's a bunch going on right now. I want to get a good one. Level 6. Okay, we can do that. We're at 3.4k, so we'll just mine this and edit yesterday's video. And that is another shooting star done. We're at 4.6k. We need 11k in total, actually, because I also want the Celestial Ring on top of the Golden Prospector set. Found another one in a different world. Doesn't look like anyone's hit it yet, but doesn't look like it's too high level. First one to find it. What high level is it? Size 3. Fuck it. We'll chill here for a bit. Alright, I'm gonna go do a couple of CMs. Nothing too crazy as they're not the best points per hour, but I haven't really gotten any uniques yet at all, and I could get lucky. It's better than the tobs are going, and I just think it'll be a little bit of different content. So let's get started. Shout out Mr. Only Leaks. Nice haircut, man. Got the two master combat tasks for not dying in a raid and not having a team that dies in a raid. Obviously, I am the team. And then we got nothing. And nothing. And nothing. Alright, well, it's safe to say that this game sucks. Um, I have done eight raids now. Eight challenge modes raids, and I'm pretty sure the drop rate for purple is one in five. Haven't gotten shit, so obviously no points gained there. We're still at 56k. Uh, it do be what it do be. I think I'm just gonna go look for a shooting star real quick. And then maybe we'll get back to hard clues. I think that might be the play. Found a rock altar itself. Doesn't look too high level though. Size 5, actually that will give us a perfect amount of time. We're chilling. Okay, literally had this rock altar myself. It is still at a level 2, but I'm just going to go back because there's another one spawning in like 2 minutes. And I'd rather just have a higher level one for the whole duration. I probably won't run into anyone else. I guess Iron Men are scared of the wilderness. Who would have thought? I have 4k Stardust in my inventory. I want to I want to check real quick to see how much I have to see how much I have to keep getting. I have 8.9k Stardust. Honestly, maybe I could have stayed there. I only need 1.1k more, I think. Damn, literally the last location we checked, it's a star 7, it's a size 7, <laughs> uh, but we only needed 1.1k more dust. I probably could have stayed at the previous one, to be honest, but fuck it. Alright, I've got my 11k uh, stardust. I need to go get my prospector boots back. Somehow I've lost those, but that's only 30 golden nuggets with uh, the relic or whatever. It shouldn't take too long, and then we can go cash in these points. Okay, 30 nuggets, let's get another set of prospector boots. I literally have no idea what happened to my last one, but now let's go get this bread. Let's go get some points. Alright, we're getting back on the hard clue grind. I just really want to finish the God Dia headset and potentially finish a God Book too. It is 175 points if I can get this both done. If I finish the armor set before the Dehyde, obviously we will go to Entrana. Or you know, this is what some people tell me. Open them on Entrana. You'll get uh you'll get more non-combat stuff. I know, but I don't want to fuck over my chances like finishing like all the tasks, right? So I think it's better to do it like that. Okay, we have amassed 20 caskets. We're looking for any of these god pages to complete it. We're also looking for any of these armor pieces to complete a god di set. So the Sardoan's Bracers or the Zami Chaps. Or it looks like the Bandos Chaps too, so... You know? Bless up Zaros. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Sardoan page 3. Nope, that's another dupe. Ancient page 3, I think that's a dupe too. Oh my god, my third ancient page 3, man. I got a holy blessing too, damn, I need the war blessing. Still nothing good. Armadil D-eyed body, damn, not good either. Plate legs. Gothic's plate legs. Another Robin. Armadil bracers, that's so troll. Let's see what we need from the Armadil thing. Okay, now we just need the coif, we need the armor coif and we can finish that too. So it's three sets we're close to finishing, but... I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna get anything. Nothing. Gilded plate legs, okay, that's huge. That is actually huge because there's a gilded, full gilded task. That's one out of three, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of them. Gothic's page four, I think that's a dupe too. It is, bro, it is. Samurai full on Bandos plate body and rune plate legs trimmed. Oh my god, bro, this game. All right, we go again, we go again. We don't have a choice. Another 10 caskets. We've got a couple dehyde sets, a couple god book sets complete. Probably going to complete none of them, but, you know, we can try. That's what we're here for. Explorer Backpack, D-Shoes Ornament Kit. Rune Helm. Zamrat Kite Shield. Oh, you can just hear the depression in my voice, dude. Bandos Page 2. I don't even think we're close to completing that one, to be honest. Shared. Uh, bro, the only Bandos Page I have. Oh, no, I have Bandos Page 1, but that's another dupe. Awesome. Ah, oh, depression. Depression. Actual depression. Sardome and Kite Shield. Guthix Coif, interesting. Nope. Samurak Dehyde Body and a Sardome and Dehyde Body. That's actually depression, dude. One more. Ah, <sighs> we go again, we go again. Another day, another dollar. We got 10 more caskets. We're not gonna get shit, but hey, we can try. Uh, nothing. Sardo and plate body. Nothing. Man. 
Man. Man. Bro. This is just pure depression. It's literally just pure depression. Fucking the Cyclops head. Oh my god, bro. I am... Ten more caskets. I don't have any expectations whatsoever. Yup. Abysmal. Tragic. Despicable. Disgusting. Horrific. Bandos chaps. I don't... I don't think I need... <gasps> we completed a god di set. Okay, I did need those Bandos chaps. Okay. Finally, bro. Finally. At least we get something out of that. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, let's fucking go. 50 points for equipping a full God Dragon Head set. I can open the rest of these on Entrana now. Hopefully, I can also pull one of my final, what's it called? God pages, and that would be a godsend. Let me tell you, the past couple of days have been a struggle, but I am powering through. Your support has been incredible, and I can't give up on you guys. Today is our 25th video of the leagues, and we're only just about a month in. And I do see all you guys' love for the daily videos on the past two vids where I've been asking, and I'll keep trying to keep them up. You guys already know what needs to be done. We got an algorithm to conquer, and you guys have been doing a sick job conquering it. The best way to do that is to subscribe to the channel. The more new subscribers the video generates, the more it slingshots the video out there. It helps me grow, and we're also super close to 110k. So, for the one time, do double check that you are subbed down below. It takes two seconds, and it's free. Okay, three caskets to pull a page. Three caskets, if I pull the War Blessing or the page, it's good days, I'm happy days. Probably not, though. Purple Sweets. Ancient Blessing. Zamorak page 3, which I'm pretty sure I already have too. That is another dupe page, nothing but depression. I'm done doing clues for now, I'm losing my mind. Alright, 264 Zelra Casey, gonna go send some tobs. Hopefully we can get lucky and pull a scythe and I'll have a smile on my face rather than a frown. Oh, that's a new PB, that's my first sub 11, bro. 1058. So if you guys didn't know already, I haven't done tobs in like a week or so just because I've, I don't know, I've just not gone lucky there at all. I'm at 74 KC and most people at that point almost have full completion. They're just missing one or two items. All I have is a rapier and a defender to my name. I've been doing a mixture of hard modes, duos, this or that. And honestly, even in just doing a normal trio, normal mode, it's meant to be one and nine in your name. And doing hard modes obviously is like better better odds. And I'm not even dying and shit like that. But yeah, 74 KC, all I've got a rapier and a defender. Uh, Tony gets a Sanguinesti staff, the Linguini staff. He's already got one here. And I'm, I'm gonna sit and do 26 hard mode KCs in one sitting. Get the back-to-back, -back and Jinami gets another Avernic. The back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, not in my name. Linear gets a purple. It's another Avernic. Bro, how is everyone getting purples for me, bro? I need those two, bro. I need any just EPs. Well, I need everything apart from a Avernic and a Rapier. Oh, shit, grats. Oh, Linguini staff. Congratulations. Dude, I am so unbelievably dry. Could have started on the north side. Oh, that's a new PB now, too. I just got a holy ornament kit, bro, for nothing. I can't even use it on anything because I have no drops in 99kc. It's absolutely amazing. Could use it on my rapier, I guess, but I don't even know if that's a task. So the only task with a holy ornament kit is to equip it onto a scythe, and that's another 125 points. So if I do get a scythe, it's 250 points. But is that very likely, like, looking the way it's going? Uh, I don't know. This was our first purple in a while of the 7-hour top session. Obviously not in my name, and it was another Avernic anyway. Hit the back-to-back, -back and it's another Linguini staff for Pappy. I am, uh, I'm having a lot of fun right now. I'm, I'm getting so many items. Okay, and that is Defeat the Theater of Blood hard mode 50 times. We're on 99 total KC. Still have the exact same drops I had, like, fucking three weeks ago, bro. So, having a lot of fun, as you guys can tell. 56,325 points now. We're gonna do one more to hit the 100 KC and still get nothing. That is 100 Theater of Bloods done, obviously no purple. To be fair, we did die about a million times this raid, but yup. 100 tobs done, and I have a Rapier and an Avernic on the boosted drop rates. Loads of fun. 56,450 points. I'm having so much fun. Yo, thank you guys for the raid, seriously. You guys are legends. Um, so just to put all of this into perspective, I'm gonna use Good Luck on Tom as a benchmark because he is rank one. If you check his high scores, he hasn't even got Theater of Blood on the high scores. And if you check his tasks, he's got the complete the Theater of Blood 50 times and the hard mode 25 times. This means he's probably only done a little bit more than 50 in total. And in that case, he, he's got the Scythe, the ornament kit for the Scythe. He's got the Sanguinesti Linguini staff. He's got a piece of Justice Art as well. Now, I've also killed about 1800 Rune Dragons or so while I've been AFKing. I assume he's done the same thing because he's been able to equip a Dragon Plate Body which is a 250 point toss, which is a drop from Rune Dragons. And he's also gotten a Dragon Fire Shield, which is another 125 points. 
On top of that, from uh, Crystal Implings, he's managed to get the, what's it called, the Elven Signet, which is 125 points, which also means you can craft it into Celestial Signet, which is another 125 points. So just off the top of my head, he has saved almost hella time not doing an extra like 50 tobs, and he's gotten all these drops, which amount to 1,125 points. Now, these are the only things I could see. Obviously, you know, that is just how the game works. That is how RNG works. I'm aware of it, but I did just wanted to put it into perspective for you guys a little bit as to some of the RNG tasks that this league is going to have. All right, going to do some Wooder Tell while I eat my KFC and then I depression. Then I'll go do some challenge mode, see if I can get some any uh, better RNG there. 269 KFCs done. Uh, KC done. Let's go over to Cox. And nothing. And not nothing. That is 10 KC for 50 points. And we finally get our first purple. And they're all pretty much 125 points. So this is pretty gas. And we get the Dexterous Prayer Skull. Now, these are actually only worth 50 points to activate one of these. I guess the Twisted Bow and all that stuff is 250 points, so they like to even it out like that. Uh, Rigor is nice, but it really isn't like big at all because um, of the relics. It's not really that much of a damage increase, and it is only 50 points. But activating it gets us up to 56,600. So, you know, we take it. Fuck off, Tony. Stop calling me a bitch. But yeah, let's fucking go. And nothing. Probably call it there a bit bad RNG to get Rigor as my only two purples in 14 KC. I'm pretty sure it is one in five as the drop rate, so I like honestly could have got like three drops by now. But hey, you know what they say, it do be what it do be. Um now at 56,600 points, obviously, and we'll probably just do a little bit of these every day. I just want to get some top drops, man. I'm just doing CMs in between. They are better points if I get more drops. Obviously, there's more uniques to get, but you know, some um some top drops would be really nice. Back to the hard clues, now that we've got the god deite set, we can actually start opening them in Entrana. Hard clues are still the best thing to do if to get the war blessing, and the war blessing is the best in slot thing. It's going to be the best in slot thing for me. Especially if I do get a scythe, I'm, get, I'm going to need it, so I'm trying, I'm trying to manifest that scythe. 100 top KC and, you know, still nothing, but it do be what it do be. But yeah, now that we've got the god deite set, we can start opening them in Entrana. We'll also want just one more god page, one more god page. I know it's better to do easy clues for them, but like I said, I'm trying to knock out multiple birds with one stone. It is the best thing to do overall, and uh, I just need a bit of RNG. Okay, we have 10 caskets. We're going to go to Entrana, see if we can complete a god book, or for once, just get this uh, war blessing. Okay, let's go. Let's get a little opening. Ancient page 1, Guthix page 1. Does that complete anything? I don't even think it does. Oh my god, okay, we completed the ancient book. Fucking let's go, bro. Let's go. We'll go do that after these 9 caskets. I'm so happy, man. If we can pull the war blessing in this too, that'd be amazing. I've done 526 clues, man. Please. Purple Sweets, Bandos Page 2, Peaceful Blessing, that is not the War Blessing. Oh no. Come on, please. Zamorak Page 3, last one? Damn it. Okay, I honestly think I might have just completed another God Book too. Okay, now nah, I've only completed the one, but no War Blessing out of that. Probably gonna stop now, you know, we've been losing a lot of points. We've basically gained very little points in like the past three days, to be honest. And just completing a god book is something good for me. Alright, let's get this bread. Use. 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 Complete a god book? Or do I have to wear- Yeah, okay. Equip a completed god book. 125 points. 56,725 points now. So if you guys didn't watch my last Trailblazer League when I started off my life of being a neat Iron Man, me and the top page competitors poked a little fun at each other. When I take one of them over, I change my name to their name and put a who after that. And when they took me over, they didn't hold themselves back either. This is what the top page looked like at some point last league. There was a lot of ditter who's. And this league is no different. Last league, I did change my name to Good Luck I'm Dit when I took over Good Luck I'm Tom. And he has paid back the favor as rank 1, changing his name to Ditter Who 62. Right above me is Ditter Who 73, the OG. And below me, for some reason, is a, is a Ditter Who 5 who is a cold on. For a smart guy, his math is really not that great. Now, I'll take these guys over if I can, but for now, I have to show them the respect they deserve. Down all the way in rank 16 is this little guy sick nerd. Maz actually told me he thought he was competing against me or something. Uh, that's his life goal to take me over in the rankings. So for now, my RSN is sick neat. Guys, thank you guys for watching. It has been a long day. I literally sat in my chair and did tops for 7 hours straight at one point. And I've got nothing to show for it. You guys have been killing it regardless and I'm sure my luck will turn around eventually. And we've got one final thing to do. Destroy this algorithm. Like that video, comment down below what you thought, how you're doing, any food or health tips, much appreciated. And of course, make sure you're subscribed. It catapults my channel and my career, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I was complaining a lot in this video. That's just what my natural reactions are when, you know, things aren't going my way. And I don't want to pretend to be hyped over something I'm not for you guys. So yeah, I will see you guys later. I love you guys. And hopefully there is a new video tomorrow.